on here for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. And it looks like a good getaway for B Chills into turn one. He leads comfortably. Little bit of a battle at the back between the McLaren. And here comes the Williams of Luke around the outside and takes a lead going through turn three. Coys and Reyna getting by B, B Chills as well. So a terrible start to the race for the Ripple driver. And it might get worse because off the track he goes, which allows every single car on the grid to get past him. He started on P1 and he is last. After only a few corners, Luke leads them going through turn, uh, turn 8 and into turn 9. The Williams driver, is, no idea what's happened to the Red Bull driver, but here comes the McLaren. Coys around the outside towards the start finish straight and now he takes the lead of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Very, very good opening lap for Coys. Reyna in P3 with longtime rival Mikhail directly behind him. Towards turn four we go. DRS not enabled, but I don't think Mikhail is going to need it. Is he going to go for it around the outside into turn four? He is going to go for it. Reyna's going to stick it, keep it down the inside. Mikhail goes off the track a little bit. We ride on board with the Mercedes. The Ferrari still on his inside and he has to concede the position. A little bit twitchy on the rear end but Mikhail gets the job done and he can now begin his pursuit on Luke. Who isn't giving up the battle for P1, not just yet at least. Gazelle P5 is all over the back of Reyna. Something's happened to Reyna in this season and he has just dropped off with his race pace. Lucas in there as well. Nathan uh, CL fan have been caught out and Rayner by the way back ahead of the Ferrari I was going to say B Chills has found his way past, past the Ferrari in the Alfa Tauri, but something's happened and he's back to the back again Rayner now we ride on board the rear wing of the Mercedes driver well he thought that Mikhail was going to go for it down the inside I thought Mikhail was going to go for it down the inside but he didn't stayed at bay because he knows that with the RS this move into turn four is going to be a lot easier. And he doesn't want to give Reyna the DRS. Down the inside he goes. Mikhail up to P3. But Reyna once again, he isn't giving up. Good poor start for B. Chills. Look at this battle now. Coys, <coughs> sorry, has led for a few laps. But that is coming to an end with DRS. Luke flies down the inside and he has that move done. Way before the breaking zone. The Williams back up. That he's going to pick up another bit of DRS towards turn four. He's waited for it. He's played his cards right. Coys moves to the inside. But is the defense going to be enough? No, it's not. He tucks in behind the Williams. And concedes that the ball driver is pressing on. B. Chills is going to look for the overtake. And I think he's going to get it into turn four. Look how close he is. And... Switching to the inside, B. Chills is going to come flying past. <coughs> Later on the brakes, and B. Chills takes P5, possibly putting himself into a uh, podium fighting position. He's all over the back of Reyna. The Mercedes driver, they make contact, and around the outside, B. Chills with the RS <coughs> will dispatch Reyna. RS. On the back of the Ferrari, who, by the way, is eyeing up Coys. Are we going to see a double overtake from the Red Bull? We're not going to see any overtake, but we have three abreast into turn one between one, two, and three there. And Coys is the beneficiary. Beneficiary, sorry. Coys up to P1, Luke in P2, Mikhail down the inside of the Williams into turn four. Can the Ferrari driver make the move stick? He might be able to. They're side by side going into six. Then around seven. This is allowing Coys to run away a bit. And oh no, mine there. But two into six and seven, it's not easy. B chills down the inside of Luke, gets the job done. Now he's going to fly past Coys. And he's just made two moves on the same stretch. Of the overtake. It's a whole other story. 
but I think it should be, well, a piece of cake here, DRS, towards turn one, Reina forced the long way round, but it isn't really that difficult for the Argentine, and he is up to P2. Something's going on there, never mind. I don't really know why that's happening. So, Coys has just, from absolutely nowhere, Coys has just come flying through, nearly past both of the Mercedes. He gets past Lucas, the McLaren driver, on the back of Rayner. Well, Rayner just completely blocks off the inside line. And then Coys comes flying down the inside and hits him. Coys thought he was going to not fully cut across, but Rayner just didn't stop. Turning back down the inside of Lucas goes Coys. He's now filled with anger, I'm imagining. Purple driver. Another purple sector. The only thing slowing him down right now is this Mercedes that's in his way. Fakes to the outside, goes to the inside. Lucas covers it off. Then moves to the right after a bit of contact there. It's inevitable, really that the Red Bull is going to get past, and he does. Remember, both sets of cars are on softs, but he's messed up. Messed up that section of the track once again. It seems to be his weakness. He's so poor. Six laps. And if he can do that, it'll be a miracle. Down the inside on Rayner, he's not waiting around. I mean, clearly, that's not what exactly what he's known for. And towards turn one, Rayner gets the DRS. He's gaining. He's gaining. He's gaining. But no move. Super defensively. B Chills compromises himself. And Rayner is just going to come, yep, yeah, right back up the inside. And take the position back, back from him. My nose is like bunged up now as well. Down the inside. These two battling out, banging wheels. And Reyna is out. And there's a safety car. Um, right, the safety car will return to the pits. Now, Coys will back up the pack. And wait. To fly off. Or well, he will hope to fly off. He's going to have B-chills right behind him. We know how desperate the Rebel driver is. Coys is gone, he's caught the Red Bull napping, and now the Red Bull is under pressure from Mikhail and Lucas as well. Towards turn one we go, the Red Bull has already been taken by Mikhail. Contact between Lucas and Mikhail though, through turn one. Lucas finds himself very deep, has to rejoin the track, nearly slams into Gazelle, and somehow B chose is still in P2, but crucially Coys is already two and a half seconds up the road. It was a good getaway there for Coys. B Chills just didn't predict it. And now here comes Mikhail. And in the same corner where B Chills made contact with Rayner, he makes contact with Mikhail and nearly takes a Ferrari driver out as well, swerving across the screen. Here, see how funny. He can't really do much other than hang on and pray. Um, Lucas doesn't go for the move. B Chills is like miles away down the start finish straight. Mikhail is gaining on Coys, but he's not going to gain enough over this lap. Here comes Lucas around the outside, up into P3. Mercedes driver goes and now Gazelle goes down the inside on CL Fan as well. CL Fan drops to P5, and I think B Chills with his pace, even with the damage, will then get within nine seconds and take P5 off. The Alpha Tauri, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but Coys, I mean, there's so many different drivers who could have won it today. But Coys managed to avoid as many incidents as he could. Seems like everyone was involved in something today. But it is the Spurs Fans Day. Spurs finally win a trophy. Coys wins the Brazilian Grand Prix. Mikhail P2, Lucas P3, Gazelle 
P4, see how far it crosses the line. Goes P5 and B chills, won't close the gap enough. And will sit in P6. With Nate finishing P7. That was a very... Um... Very controversial race. Driver that day goes to Lucas. I'm sure he would have loved to finish P2. Over McHale. But finally, Spurs have got a trophy, and it is Coys who lifts it for them. <laughs> Good job, Coys. I know it's the first. I thought it was the first time I've ever commentated you winning. Congratulations, Coys, for the victory. Chaotic race. I'm sure the stewards' room is going. To be <laughs>